Here's a map of nautical piracy that's occurred over the last 40 or so years. And here's a version of it that I've made and used a definition query to restrict it just to incidents that have happened this year. Um, we're using a Firefly base map. Why not some Firefly symbology? Okay, here's how to make Firefly symbology directly in ArcGIS Pro instead of these big red dots. Okay, Firefly symbology glows, by the way, it has a glow effect. So we we'll use this shape marker and here's, here's the cool thing. We can expand this and dig into this template, which happens to be a polygon. It's just a round polygon, really. And now we can get rid of that outline. And instead of a solid fill, we can give it a gradient fill, specifically a circular gradient that instead of discrete bands is continuous and smooth. And then for the outer edge, we can give it um, like a, a bluish color and we'll make that fully transparent. And the inner color, we'll give it something cyan-like and we'll hit apply. And then go back here and let's make it big enough to actually see, let's make it 20 points instead of 10. Check it out, some symbology that looks like Firefly. That's interesting. Let's go into the structure and duplicate this glow effect. Now symbology icons have a very small white glow at its center for the, you know, its center. Um, and we'll make this white and we'll make the outer edge fully transparent white, okay? And it will make it quite small. In this case, we will cut it back in half. So you see a little white glow here, hit apply. Okay, now let's, there, well, I mean, there you go. That's, that's Firefly point symbology. Let's go into the layout and construct something that looks pretty interesting. So here we are in an ArcGIS Pro layout. And firstly, I wanna, um, I'll do my own credits or source description here. So in the insert tab, this is a cool trick for the dynamic text dropdown. Scroll down until you see the service layer credits, and then you can place it wherever you want, and you can restyle it so it looks attractive or shrink it or something like that. And for the map frame, let's say I want to have an area of interest here and here. I'll make two areas of interest. I'm just going to copy this map frame and paste it. And for my new map frame, I'll just resize it. So I'll, I'll split it in half and shrink it vertically. And then I'll right click and say activate. And this gives me navigation control. So I can zoom in and change the scale of this and show the activity here. And I'll exit out of there and I'll duplicate this. Control C, Control V for a copy paste shortcut and I'll drag it over here and for this area of interest I will go to the Gulf of Aden show activity here and then I'll go back to the layout and now um, the division between these is a little bit harsh let's say I want to add a slight subtle gradient effect so I'll insert a rectangle and I'll just drag a rectangle frame here. And then in its properties, instead of a, a single black outline, I'll give it a gradient fill. And I'll choose a linear gradient, continuous again, nice and smooth. And this will go from fully transparent black black. We'll hit OK. There we go. Now we have a nice division between our map and our inset using Firefly symbology over a Firefly base map.